So welcome back to another FIFA 20. Actually, it's not a FIFA 20 video. We are back with some more FIFA history. We are taking a look at FIFA 07. More specifically, I wanted to take a look at career mode because to me, this is one of the best career modes EA ever offered us. And it is on the PlayStation 2 today. So we're about to get to PlayStation 5 next year. But thank goodness, my PS2 is still going pretty strong. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at FIFA 07 today because when people ask me what is the best career mode, I think of FIFA 07. FIFA 08 on the PSP as well was pretty good. FIFA 20 is not too bad. But in terms of the retro career modes, FIFA 07 is one of the best. So we're going to take a look at what it offered and we'll see all its different features as well. Now, if you enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up for me. It always helps. And if you are new to the channel and you want to see FIFA 20 news, FIFA history videos as well, hit the subscribe button today so you don't miss anything. We've got 66% of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. So do yourselves a favor, subscribe today. You won't regret it. These days, it was so good as well because Ultimate Team wasn't even a thing. So EA really had to put effort into career mode so people would buy the game. So this was before Ultimate Team was even a concept. But you can already see that, you know, we've come a long way since the, the early days of Creator Manager, man. Look at that. It's so many generic photos there. To be fair, you had like 20 or more options to pick from. So the good news is there was female managers back in the day as well. So it's not a new idea. And uh, there is a few actually. Look at that. There's, there's a few options. Um, I really don't know who to pick. Um, I don't know. We'll just go with that guy, number 20. Um, born in 19... I don't know. How low can I go? 1935. All right. That sounds pretty good. Who is N Manager? Back when the sun was a thing as well, sponsoring EA's career mode. All right, so this is uh, the nice email section, as you can see. Board of Directors, the preseason autograph sessions, including Wayne Rooney, were by far the busiest. It seems he is a fan favorite. Play him consistently to keep the fans happy. All right, so it's already telling me Rooney needs to play. All right, so one of the things that we don't get these days is the sponsorship thing. You guys know about this stuff anyway. I've been making so many videos on sponsors being a feature we want in career mode. But as you can see, we've got West Air, Intact, Westmere Bank, Matty, El Turo, Stark, Tell as well. And each company is offering me different kinds of money for different games, loyalty bonuses, league bonuses, and stuff like that. I don't know, I'll just do this guy, Direct West Air. As you can see, comes up with all the numbers there, all the objectives. We'll just sign the contract and move on. All right, so we have the main dashboard of FIFA 07 career mode. And it's not like the, the new ones where you have different tabs you've got to flick through. This is all on one screen. Pretty basic layout, but it did the job at the time. Now, there was three main things you had to manage in FIFA 07 career mode. The first one there was team chemistry. That was currently at 38. The second row was job security. That was a 60. And then the bottom one is fan support. So those were the three things that would change after every game you played. Also, the number three, I think, is just manager reputation. The higher it is, it might make a difference in the game, but I'm not really sure what it did. Now, back in the day, we had some staff upgrade features as well, where you had different staff and you could upgrade them with a bit of money. So we have striker coach, midfielder, defense coach, goalkeeper coach, negotiator, scout, medical staff, stadium manager. And uh, I guess the main ones that we could have back is like the negotiator, the medical staff, the stadium manager as well. But these guys are a bit redundant because you can train the players in career mode yourself, you know, through the drills. But the negotiator, if you upgrade him, he will help you bring better talent to the club for less money. I don't know if you could implement that in today's career modes, but sounds pretty useful. The medical staff, I think they should bring this one back. This one is a useful one. Medical staff will help your players recover from injuries and fatigue. So if you get a guy, you know, out already in preseason for two months, you upgrade your medical staff, he might come back in seven weeks or six weeks instead of the full two months. So I reckon this would be useful if they brought it back. And the stadium manager is an interesting one as well. Now, I don't think this was a visual thing where you see more fans in the stadium, but I just think it's just more of a concept, you know. But still, if you can upgrade your stadium size in the game, you can make more revenue. So I guess it's a useful feature to have. So this is our youth academy. These are the three guys they wanted us to uh, promote to the first team, I believe. Look at that. Expected growth curve for the youth. Now, we have dynamic potential in the game now, which sort of affects this, but I guess you could still have an expected growth curve for that. So as you can see, for this guy, uh, year 1 is 56 overall, year 2, 60, year 3, 64, year 4, 68, year 5, 71. So a 5-year plan for this guy is going to end up as a 71. And as you can see, different players will have different curves. So that's pretty useful. I really like that one. So this is the scouting. And as you can see, you can scout in different locations. Italy, Spain, rest of Europe, America, Africa, Asia, Oceania. A few different countries there. You could scout attacking. I think you can scout specific positions as well. I don't think you can do that in FIFA 20 career mode. 
If you're looking for a right forward, you can do that. If you're looking for a right mid, you can do that. Whatever you want, there's specific positions here, which is really cool. And then you can do deep search or quick search. It's up to you. Now let's take a look at team management here. See if there's anything different. We've got player growth here. So this is absolutely sick. I love how they've got this player growth chart, man. Look at that. Ronaldo, 87 at the moment, but by season five, 98 overall. I would love to actually see if he reaches that. Predicted overall, 98 in year five. Wow. So is there anything we can actually do here? I don't think so. There's nothing we can actually do. This screen just shows you the actual and predicted overall for your players. You are able to modify the actual overall and exceed the prediction by playing well with a specific player. So this is sort of like dynamic potential anyway back in FIFA 07. Based on your scout level, you are able to see further into the future development of a player and therefore decide whether to keep him in your squad or place him on the transfer list. Oh, this is sick, man. So you could do the other usual stuff like edit kit number, change the kick takers, player contracts, contracts alerts. And you can also export your team out of crew mode into normal kickoff, I believe, as well. So if you liked your team, you wanted to use them in kickoff, you could export them. Now, another cool thing is that when you're about to play a match in crew mode, you can change your ticket price. You can also manage your team. There's a quick sim, which is just basically the one that we've got now in FIFA 20 crew mode. But there is a visual sim as well, which is so cool. And I really wish they brought it back as well. I know some people, when they sim a game, they don't really want to jump in after it's going but as you can see this is like a football manager sort of thing where you get little highlights and uh, you can see the pitch possession I believe as well momentum you can um, change the speed of the match as well to make it go a bit faster it's like a little mini game to be honest and I don't know if you can make subs here uh, it looks like you can there is some sort of settings that come up when I tap the d-pad but I don't think there is subs okay you can if you press down on the d-pad as you can see you can uh, change subs at half time I believe Okay, you can pause it and then you can do your thing. All right, so that makes sense. Yeah, you got to pause the match. I was trying to do it while it was going. Now, of course, if you wanted to play the game, let's say you're in the cup game and you're losing 1-0 and you weren't expecting to lose, you need to win. You can intervene into the match. You press X and it'll take you straight to the 70-something minute, whatever we are here, and you can actually finish the game off yourself if you feel like it. I don't know. I just think, you know, a PS2 can have this feature. Why not have it in the modern-day career modes as well? You know, it's probably not that hard to do anyway considering the PSP had it and the PS2 had it. And you just give the people the option. You know, if you want to do a quick sim, you can do it. If you want to get involved, you can do it as well. Play it like a football manager thing. And wow, this, this game feels really fast, man. This is totally different to the pace of Fever 20, I'll tell you that. This is like four times the speed of Fever 20. But yeah, you can't expect to just come onto FIFA 07 on the PS2 and start playing like it's Fever 20, man. It's a totally different experience. You actually have to get used to it again. And uh, the graphics as well, man. The Frostbite engine does do a better job. But of course, that is expected as well. But it, it just feels fun to just hop back and try out these older games. Like, You're not going to do a full season. But uh, I guess one game isn't too bad every once in a while just to see what it was like. Rooney with the shot. What are you doing, man? I, was, oh, I think I pressed the wrong button. I pressed circle. He didn't even shoot. He crossed it. Another cool feature in FIFA 07 career mode was the fact that you could get random situations where you had to respond or just random stuff that was going on around the club and you would be notified. So the first one is basically like a notification about Ronaldo. The email says that he was seen being talked to about his behavior by another Man United player during a night out. The board frowns on the behavior that Ronaldo exhibited and wonders why you were not around to handle this instead of another team player. Maybe this was the allegations. EA predicted the future, man. They, they knew them allegations were coming. This was another internal memo. It said rising pressure. You've noticed a few changing room squabbles recently and fearing that there might be some clashes of egos. You want to nip it in the bud. You come down heavily on the team and tell them to stop acting like children. You won't tolerate petty arguments and you expect nothing less than professionalism. You talk to the captain who must share some responsibility for keeping the team from arguing. Ask him to do what he feels necessary. You decide not to do anything as they will ultimately sort out amongst them the hierarchy of leaders. I ended up picking the one in the middle. And I got a response saying he's captain for a reason and he successfully exerts his authority and influence over the team. They need a leader and he acted like one. Team morale went up by four. I would love these little internal memo things where you get random situations pop up that affect your like fan support and job security and stuff. That would be so cool. Now the coolest thing, and it sort of relates to crew mode, is create a club. You can actually create your own club, import them into crew mode and play with your club. So I think this is a really cool feature that we should get back. And this is awesome because you can create your own kits, create your own uh, crest as well, and uh, create your own story pretty much. So it just adds replayability to the game mode as well. Okay, Piemonte Culture doesn't work, so we'll put Piemonte Cal. And we can change our stadium as well, which is so cool. Is there the Deli Alpi? Yep, that was the old Juventus stadium. 
starting budget. You can even put that in for manager mode. So if you want a lot of money, you can do that. That is so cool, man. I love this. And this is where you change your kit style. So as you can see, we've got the Piemonte generic uh, Juventus kit. All right, so when you go to create a player, you can add a player into your team. As you can see, Piemonte right there. And we are creating a player here, a center midfielder. Now, obviously, you will need to do so many players to fill up a squad. But uh, this is what it looks like, the player faces and stuff. You can have a bit of customization. It's not too bad, you know, for the time. Now, if we were to add Piemonte into the Serie A, let's see what it does. Um, there is an option to add or replace a club. So let's say I get rid of Atalanta. Can we put in... Okay, there are no available created clubs. Maybe because I don't have enough players. But you can put your club into the game. But what made FIFA 07 crew mode so special? It has to be the features, man. The sponsors, the staff upgrades, the visual sim. All the stuff that we want back in crew mode is in FIFA 07. And of course, FIFA 20 crew mode in terms of features is not too bad. You have manager customization, dynamic potentials there. You have your press conferences as well, which you don't have in FIFA 07. But there is some stuff that EA can take out of these old games, bring them back in, and will just make it a totally better experience. Even create a club should return because, you know, the, the storylines of being able to take your own club to League 2 and beyond is crazy, man. You could have such a great series there with created players and all that stuff. And uh, this game mode needs some depth and needs things to do. And right now, it's just been the same old thing for the last five or six years. Fever 21 crew mode on the next gen needs to start off strong. Otherwise, this game mode is just not becoming interesting for a lot of people anymore. But anyway, if you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another Fever 20 video of mine. I'll see you next time.